Welcome to the channel. In a previous video, we reviewed the Zimmer board, links in the description, a very powerful, compact, stylish, passively cooled single board computer that comes with up to eight gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of EMM storage, and a multitude of high-end connectivity. In that video, we walked through how to install Home Assistant in a Docker container. This was an amazingly simple and super quick, literally the quickest Home Assistant installation I have ever done. However, using a Docker container limits you in that it does not have supervisor nor add-ons. But on the other hand, it is very efficient, small footprint, a self-contained installation of Home Assistant and is preferred by some. In this video, we'll show you how to install Home Assistant OS. This will make your Zimmer board a dedicated Home Assistant server. In the roundup, I'll answer the questions as to if the Zimmer board is the perfect solution for your precious Home Assistant installation. We'll cover the pros and cons and give you a recommendation to help you in your decision. But for now, let's dive on in and walk through how to install Home Assistant OS on a Zimmer board. To get this working, you're going to need the following. Your Zimmer board. Home Assistant works with two gigabytes, but works much better with four gigabytes. As such, the 432 and the 832 models with four and eight gigabytes respectively are preferred over the two gigabyte offered by the 232, the Zimmer board supplied power adapter, a mini DVI cable so you can view the video output from the Zimmer board, a LAN cable so you can connect your Zimmer board to the internet, a USB mouse and keyboard to control your Zimmer board, a USB hub so that you'll be able to connect your USB keyboard and mouse and leave a free USB port on your Zimmer board for your installation media. An eight gigabyte USB thumb drive to load your image. A separate Windows machine that we'll use to prepare the Home Assistant OS image and load onto your USB thumb drive. Now there are a few different ways of loading Home Assistant OS onto your Zimmer board. If you navigate to the Home Assistant generic x86-64 installation guide, links in the description, it talks about installing Home Assistant via Ubuntu and a second method of loading directly from a boot medium. You might prefer to follow those instructions, but the method I'm gonna take you through is simpler and quicker. If you scroll down to method two, in section four, you'll see a URL for Home Assistant OS. Copy this on your Windows machine, Copy this into the address bar of the browser and press enter. The six gigabyte compressed file will now download. Press the save as to place the image into a convenient location. In my case, the downloads. Open File Explorer and navigate to the folder you placed your image in. Right click the file and extract all. Accept the default and extract to the same folder. This will extract the contents of the compressed file. This will be stored in the same folder with the same name. Once extracted, navigate into the folder. You should now see the image file. Now move back to your Zimmer board. Open up files, press the shared button in the bottom left, press the start button. Select all of the shared folders. All of these folders are now available on your network. Back on your Windows machine. If you open up a separate file explorer and navigate to the IP address of your Zimmer board, remember to insert the backslashes. This will now display the shared folders that you just shared on your Zimmer board. Enter into the downloads file. Drag and drop your image across into your downloads file. This will take some time depending on the network speed. Back on our Zimmer board, if we open files, we can now see our image file. Now navigate to the CASA OS home screen. In the top left hand corner, there is a button next to the preferences for terminals. Press this. Inside of the username and password, we're going to type CASA OS all in lowercase. The password will be the same as CASA OS. Press connect. A terminal will open. First, we need to see what drives are attached. Type LSBLK. Press enter. The EMMC storage drive will be listed. Note that there are no USBs or SSDs attached to the Zimmer board at this point in time. Otherwise, they would show up. MMC BLK0 is the name of the physical drive. In this specific example, it has three different partitions, noted as P1, 2, and 3. This is the drive that we will be installing our Home Assistant OS onto. Next, we should move across into the downloads directory. Type CD for change directory, space, forward slash, data, all in capitals, forward slash, downloads, with a capital D for downloads, and press enter. Next, type LS, space, 
minus LH and press enter. This will show you the image file and the size of the image file. Next we'll be using a sudo command that allows for higher privileges. You don't need to understand the specifics of the command, but the outcome will be that it will take the Home Assistant image, it will write it to the eMMC storage. Make sure that the command is typed exactly as on screen. The only thing that potentially might change will be the image file that you downloaded from the URL. This is the current version on version 11.4. When you run this, you might download a different version. Make sure that the image file name that you type in is the exact copy of the one that you downloaded from the website. Now press enter. You'll be asked for a password. This is your CASA OS password, not the password that you use to enter into CASA itself. Enter in CASA OS. This will take some time to run. The image is now being written to the eMMC storage. Leave this to complete. Once completed, if you unplug your Zimmer board and restart it, Home Assistant will start its installation process. Once Home Assistant has completed its initialization, you will have a fully functional Home Assistant OS server and it will display the onboarding screen. This Home Assistant instance will include supervisor and add-ons. You can now either start a new Home Assistant instance or restore a Home Assistant backup. Now we have installed Home Assistant onto the eMMC storage of the Zimmer board. Although eMMC storage is very good, it does not have the speed and long-term high throughput features of an SSD. As such, it is recommended that you add an SSD to the Zimmer board and move your Home Assistant data disk to the SSD to avoid corruption on a long-term basis and improve performance even more. The Zimmer board is a fabulous piece of kit that is more than capable of running Home Assistant OS very smoothly, looking fabulous with no noise and very little power draw. It's available to buy immediately, links in the description, and it's competitive with a Pi for cost considering its power and flexibility it offers. However, if you do use the Zimmer board to host your Home Assistant, then you would not be taking advantage of some of its advanced connectivity, such as the PCI interface or the dual WAN ports not to mention its hardware transcoding or the two SATA ports. So is it over spec for the use of Home Assistant? Possibly. But for me, I love the design and the fact it uses so little power and will be using this ongoing as my primary Home Assistant instance. I'm already thinking about ways I can print 3D mounts for my SSDs and conceal in the cables while leaving the aesthetics of the passive heatsink visible. I hope the video is helpful and that you are happily trialing your Zimmer board as a dedicated Home Assistant instance. If you enjoyed the video, then please drop me a like, consider joining the ever-growing community and dinging that bell to be notified when the next video comes out. Until then, happy flashing. Music